Hello everyone, welcome to Lukman IS. Today we are going to have the Hindu analysis of 15th May 2022. Let's see which are the important articles from today's the Hindu newspaper. Yes, as it is Sunday's newspaper, two important pages, one FAQ page and other science and technology page. Okay, so you can see from men's perspective, the first article reasons for declining foreign exchange reserve. So it is important from GS3 paper economy part as well as there can be question in prelims examination also. Very important article, you should all also read this article. We will uh, try to understand what is given there. But in recent times, foreign exchange reserves with RBI are declining. Okay, so that's why it is in news. We will find out the reasons. Again, on the same page, how do pardon powers of president and governor differ from government's jurisdiction to release the convicts? So, re it is in news, the controversy that is going on between central government and Tamil Nadu state government regarding the release of one of the convicts in Rajiv Gandhi assassination case. Okay, so the pardoning powers of governor and president and how they are different along with that, how they are different with respect to, uh, let's say, the pardoning powers given to respective governments under criminal procedure code CRPC code of criminal procedure okay so we have to identify different provisions under constitution and under law okay so gs2 paper polity part it can be also asked in prelims examination asni leaves bitter test for andhra pradesh salt farmers see gs3 paper disaster management part gs1 paper geography part the impact of tropical cyclones in on the coastal area of india so, how it is impacting livelihood of the people also, of the coastal community. So, this is one such example. These salt pans have been diluted now. Therefore, the salt production will not happen because of intense rainfall that was there because of Asni cyclone. Okay. Then, Quad initiative for vaccines run into rough weather. GS2 paper IR section. Why we are saying that? There are some reasons. Last year, Quad first summit uh, that has that had happened in March 2021, uh, the announcement was there that 1 billion vaccines, COVID-19 vaccines will be manufactured in India and they will be given to different developing and underdeveloped countries. So that initiative, vaccine initiative is facing certain, certain challenges, certain hurdles. We will try to find out which are these. Then specifically for prelims examination on page number 11, science and technology page, blood groups and blood donation. The article is written with the, let's say, context that blood groups of human beings are similar to the kind of blood groups are there in the primates like orangutans or uh, the other primates that are there. They have also similar kind of blood, blood group, different systems are there. So basically we inherited that system as humans from the primates. The writer is saying like this, but the article mentions some basic information from science perspective, biology. Okay, so in school level or in 11-12th biology, if you have learned, we learned about the different blood groups, how they are classified and the blood donation. So who can donate whom? This can be asked in prelims examination. Okay, so simple uh, basic science, you should be aware about this. Then Indian government prohibits export of wheat with immediate effect. Now this is important from economy perspective. There is some kind of holding and speculation of wheat and not only in India, rather global wheat prices are increasing because of impact of this war, Ukraine-Russia war that is going on. Okay, and this is significant. Why? Because in, let's say, previous last two weeks, there had been talks of exports of wheat from India to different countries. Okay, so you should be aware about these developments. Let's go in detail. First one, why are India's foreign exchange reserves falling? Yes, you should be aware about this from economy perspective, that foreign exchange reserves with RBI, they are declining. So, Indian rupee hit all time low against US dollar this week, weakening past 77 rupees. This is called as depreciation of rupee. 
so rupee is depreciating as against this dollar and why this is happening we have to understand here okay along with that what are the steps taken by the rbi to protect rupee depreciation here and why this foreign exchange reserves with rbi has declined so what is happening yes we should be aware about the present status the different development first thing you should be aware that the foreign exchange with rbi peaked last year and it went to 642 billion dollars but the recent figures last week's figure has let's say which suggests that there they have declined to less than 600 billion dollars they have declined to 600 billion dollars now why there is decline in this we have to understand that also okay so here you should be aware that rbi officials had given reason for this decline in let's say this value of forex is the other assets in reserve the other assets in foreign exchange reserves their exchange value has declined vis-a-vis -vis, we can say dollars and because of that this foreign exchange reserves have come down okay along with that the rbi has also asked some of the public sector banks to sell these dollars into indian market so that the value of indian rupee is maintained the demand for indian rupee is maintained so it does not depreciate at the faster level okay so you should be aware about the present level developments why it is decreasing what rbi is doing regarding this okay now what determines the rupees value very important concept wise for prelims examination okay what determines rupees value so any value of currency depends on two factors we can say demand of that currency and supply of that currency demand you should be paying attention here so value of any currency depends on demand of that currency and supply of currency now we all know that supply of any sovereign currency is by the central bank is by the central bank ba central bank decides on this supply while the demand is decided by yes instead of saying market we can say production of goods and services in the country in the country so that will be used as an exchange of that currency and there it will increase the demand of that currency okay now let's understand hypothetically if suppose there is the, there is we can say that the currency value is depreciating how supply factor is we can say contributing for that depreciation how it works out see here suppose there is very high imports of crude oil there are high imports of crude oil so what will happen there ha we have to pay it in indian rupee and that will increase the supply of rupee that will increase the supply of rupee and when there is more supply of rupee in the foreign exchange market what will happen the value of rupee will fall down so it will lead to depreciation it will lead to depreciation as against to this if we talk about let's say increasing demand of the rupee if suppose there are high exports if suppose there are high exports now what will happen here when there are high exports yes so basically there will be more and more foreign exchange earn here okay and there is more demand for indian rupee in the foreign exchange market and that higher demand will lead to appreciation of indian currency that will lead to appreciation of indian currency the another factor you should be aware is 
when we talk about let's say high fdi inflows suppose now what will happen here Yes, so foreign exchange or dollars will come into India, but in exchange we have to pay through rupee also. No? Basically, it is again demand increasing the demand for Indian rupee. Okay, so again appreciation of the rupee. But if suppose the FDI outflow happens, yes, so indirectly what we have to do is we have to let's say the value of Indian currency will come down there because supply of Indian rupee will increase again okay because in market in exchange of that dollar the money supply will increase okay ha. yes so, so in this manner you should understand this concept okay demand and supply value of rupee depreciation appreciation understood okay now what is causing the rupee to lose value against dollar so at present what is happening at present what is happening first you should be aware that us federal reserve that is us central bank federal reserve is increasing its interest rates that's why they are shifting to from india yes and because of that what is happening the dollar that is invested in india foreign investment that is leaving the country so it is not only happening in india but in other emerging markets also okay and because of that majority of these currencies are depreciating as against dollar dollar is going back its home it is going in us economy because of this action first reason second reason is that india's current account deficit is increasing at faster scale and the gap between exports and import is also increasing which is we can say leading to further contributing to current account deficit along with outflows of FDI and FIIs okay so India's current account deficit is increasing and it is going to reach more than 3% of GDP this year. Now, when there is high current account deficit, there will be pressure on foreign exchange reserves with RBI because this needs to be met through those reserves. We need to have sufficient foreign exchange reserves so as to avoid any BOP crisis, balance of payment crisis. And for that purpose, we should be aware about this development on external sector. Okay, external sector. Okay, this is in not in our hand, but to some extent, this is in our hand. Okay, so these two developments largely they are leading to depreciation of Indian rupee, and the analysts are of the view that the depreciation may further go on for time being and it may breach the value of 80 rupees also. 80 rupees also now in addition to this you should be aware that in last one or two decades the value of Indian rupee is continuously depreciating or steadily depreciating against dollar and the major reason for this is that supply of Indian rupee supply of Indian rupee by RBI it's much larger than supply of dollar by US Fed okay and that's why more currency Indian rupee is there in market as compared to dollar see when the currency is less in number its demand will be always high okay so this is the situation that's why it is continuously depreciating also now what lies ahead here okay so of course uh, the us is facing basically the issue of high inflation one of the reason for depreciation of rupee is high inflation in india also retail inflation so the inflation in us has reached 
8.5 percent okay and this is very high it is 40 year high mark in us and to deal with this situation the us fed is increasing its interest rates okay now when it is increasing its interest rates of course it will impact the other currencies and that's why there is simultaneous pressure on the central banks of other countries including india to increase the interest rates yes some analysts are of the view that the increase sudden increase in interest rate was because of this also there was pressure on the central bank so further further depreciation of rupee could have happened so to stop that or we can say to smoothen that this has been done and here onwards also there will be tightening of money supply otherwise our system also will go to Bad yes so of course the we do we do have sufficient foreign foreign exchange reserves but we don't uh, let's say we cannot completely over rely on them okay we need minimum 400 that is we can say the statutory limit minimum 400 we want to you know have those foreign exchange reserves if it falls below that then there will be problem okay Moving on, pardon and remission, who grants them? Now, in previous week or last one or two weeks, it has been in news. <coughs> so, yes, we have to prepare this from GS2 paper polity part, both prelims as well as mains examination. In prelims examination, there can be question on pardoning powers of governor and president. Article numbers and details of pardoning powers okay so which are these pardoning powers and difference between pardoning powers of president and governor okay so there can be question in prelims examination likewise from mains perspective the controversy that is going on here between central government and tamil nadu government specifically okay supreme court has reserved the orders on the question whether the governor can refer the state government's advice for granting remission to the life convicts to uh, to the president for the decision this is what the case is basically one of the convict in Rajiv Gandhi assassination case so the Tamil Nadu government had invoked article 161 of Indian constitution okay and that provides for pardoning powers by the governor and those pardoning powers are not discretionary powers rather it is on aid and advice by the council of minister headed by chief minister at the state level okay so let's understand first of all what is the scope of pardoning power okay scope of pardoning power means basically who can pardon and let's say to whom can let's say pardoning can be done here so article 72 and article 161 of indian constitution 72 president power pardoning powers governor's pardoning powers okay and under pardoning powers there are different let's say uh, uh, methods of pardoning or measures of pardoning the pardon is there reprieve remission is there so basically we should understand pardoning powers are wide in terms of pardoning but there are some let's say caveats here caveats in terms of let's say difference between statutory power and constitutional power but before that let me also tell you difference between these two the president can pardon pardon when the laws are made by parliament and the investigation is done by the central agencies okay central agencies governor here comes the role of governor when we can say the laws are made by state legislature or we can say under the ambit of state executives okay so this is the difference uh, one more difference you should be aware that the governor cannot pardon the death sentence altogether no yes simply understand that president can pardon the death sentence not governor only he have the chance to refer to president 
No, let me also be clear now. This is what the question is actually. Okay. The reference can be given not under Article 61. Rather, that reference can be given under CRPC. Okay. So, we will understand that part. Okay. So, other difference is the court martial. President can pardon those, let us say, convicted under court martial, not the governor. Okay. These are the differences. It is given in M. Lakshmikant. We all read for this prelims examination. Now, what is the difference between statutory powers and constitutional power? What is the statutory power? Under law. Under the law. And constitutional under constitution. So, statutory powers are also given under CRPC, Code of Criminal Procedure. And this CRPC section 432 deals with this. Okay, CRPC 432. It provides for the remission of different sentences, uh, let us say there can be complete remission or partial remission of sentence and the convict can be released from the jail by different governments, central government, state government. Here the question is not of president and governor. Okay, the question is not of president and governor. So, simply understand that under section 435. If suppose the case deals with any law or let us say the particular person is convicted by central agency under central law, then the state government can remit but only after consultation with central government. Okay. And that was initiated by Tamil Nadu government in 2016 or 2014 I guess. But the central government denied or not, did not take any action for that. In 2018, again Tamil Nadu government decided to invoke Article 161. Now, Article 161 does not talk about referring that decision to the president. Rather, Article 161 is independently to be decided by the governor on aid and advice by the state council of minister. Here, there is no discretion with the governor to refer that matter to the central government or president. But the governor in this case did that. In this case, governor referred that matter to the president and Tamil Nadu government now is seeking some, uh, let us say, uh, redress to on this issue in Supreme Court. Okay, and Supreme Court has reserved these orders now. Understood what is happening? Okay, so this is the issue of Rajiv Gandhi assassination case that the one particular convict. So, uh, the timeline you should be aware and what is the exact issue. Okay, so you can revise in details about the pardoning powers from M. Lakshmikant for prelims examination. Okay, moving on. Asni leaves bitter test for Andhra Pradesh salt farmers. Okay, so what happened there? Because of this Asni cyclone, there was intense rainfall in coastal areas. The May month is peak month for salt production in coastal areas. But what happened is, there is intensive rainfall and because of that, dilution of salt pans happened. Also, there is no road connectivity, pakka road connectivity for carrying this salt to the markets and because of that there was delay and that salt remained in the salt pans and rainfall happened. So, basically the farmers, salt farmers shocked washing out entire produce is no time. Okay, the impact of tropical cyclones in the coastal community. Okay, so we generally tend to, you know, only focus on life and property, let us say uprooting of trees will happen or the, let us say, interruption in power supply, telecommunication lines, but what about farmers? Okay, so there will be impact on farmers also in this manner, you should be aware. Okay, in addition to that, let me also tell you that there will be inundation of salt water. 
and salt water incursions will happen and because of that the soil will become infertile there will be more and more salinization of soil so next sowing season far farmers will face the problem for sowing of crops there okay so in this manner you should be aware about the impact of cyclones now quad initiative for vaccine runs through rough weather last year the leaders quad leaders met and announced this vaccine initiative 1 billion vaccines covid 19 vaccines to be produced in, in india with the technology provided by us and funding provided by us and let's say the management and distribution network by japan and australia this was decided but the problems let's say the challenges that are there while the original plan to produce single shot johnson and johnson vaccine at hyderabad based biological ease facility for quad vaccine initiative ran into trouble over legal indemnity issues with government of india and then over safety concerns also and other vaccine being produced at the facility corbovax has yet to receive who emergency use listing needed for distribution okay and in addition to that experts say there is now over supply of vaccine in southeast asian countries and because of that there is low demand for the vaccines even if the vaccines are manufactured who will procure them okay who will procure them when there is no demand okay because number of infections have come down there is less focus on now vaccination at the same time domestically vaccines are being produced and let's see the cheaper rates are also there so there is over supply of vaccines so once again they are trying to in place of their in western countries western market method yes yes of course of other course these is, companies are not finding markets now other there is no useless at present like when the peak time they are denied to yes 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 very good yes 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 so the blood groups of humans and primates this was article on page number 11 science and technology page basic information is given from biology perspective blood in healthy human being is about 7% of total body weight okay around we can say <clears throat> if suppose the body weight is 55 to 65 or 4.7 to 5.5 liters in terms of amount in regular blood donation donor gives about 500 ml of blood and this is replaced in our body within a day or two okay 500 ml that uh, blood bottle is there and blood types are determined by the presence or absence of certain antigens antigen a or antigen b the molecules that trigger an immune response they are called as antigens okay and then the human body let's say blood cells they produce antibodies accordingly against the foreign particles okay then <clears throat> the antigens are classified as antigen a and antigen b in our red blood cells their presence and absence decides the blood group and let's say the medical research the pioneer medical research in that Karl Landsteiner of University of Vienna Austria and he defined three acceptable types of blood cells which he called A, B and O blood cell. He received Nobel Prize for medicine also for this research. Blood group A in India is around let's say about 40% of people are having blood group A, blood group B 25 to 35% and O 40 to 50 percent okay so there can be question in prelims examination for regarding this also now primates like chimpanzee gorilla orangutan gibbons they have the blood groups containing a b a b and o just like humans have so we have actually inherited the system from the primates itself if we believe in the evolution right now the basics of who can donate blood to whom Remember this, this is very important for prelims examination. In the past, UPC has asked question in prelims regarding this. Okay, in prelims, UPC has asked question on this. So, if let's say these are the, the blood types that we have and you can give blood to and you can receive blood from. 
okay so person having a positive then or simply instead of a positive itna detail mein nahi puchhenge positive or negative simply remember a ab b and o blood groups so a blood group can donate a or ab a blood group can donate to a or ab and a blood group can also receive from a and o a blood group can receive from a and o understood then ab ab can donate to only ab ab can donate to only ab but it can receive from all so we can say that ab is universal receiver where is ab see here everyone receive from so ab is universal receiver while o is universal donor can give to anyone remember this also now what about b b can donate to ab and b but b can receive only from b and o so basically those having ab blood group they can receive from everyone and o blood group if you are having o blood group you can donate to everyone but only you can re receive from o only o blood group can receive only from o blood group is the vulnerable section in emergency situation o blood group no basically number of people having o blood group are very high that's why availability of blood is also very high that is not the problem rather the problem is with we can say this b negative or a negative so they they are having less numbers actually okay and because of that uh, this is happening the presence or absence of antigen is basically the problem here and rh factor is also important okay rh factor is also let's say problematic let's say because of that also a particular blood type may not be suitable for that other person okay fine now indian government prohibits export of wheat with immediate effect okay so this decision happened in the backdrop of rising wheat prices at international market global agriculture market has been destabilized by the russian invasion of ukraine at the same time officials revealed that there was decline in the opening stock compared to the last fiscal this year in india okay so wheat production may be less as compared to what we had projected this year okay and because of that to you know ensure food security in the country and low food prices of the staple food we need to ensure that domestic let's say food grains are distributed properly prohibition was not the ban so our officials are explaining here it was also aimed at controlling the sudden rise in prices of wheat and atta in india the order will prevent some traders from carrying on speculative trading in wheat and destabilizing the agriculture sector okay so the speculative trading and uh, let's say speculative price rise is problematic and it is happening all over the world because of this war uncertainty is created when there is uncertainty everyone will try to protect their own wealth okay so of course india's population is huge we need to ensure that our let's say stomachs are fed right then only we'll export yes of course it is staple food for majority of population especially in north india okay also you should understand one of the reason that exports have been banned is we have to also ensure wheat supply to our neighbors this has been policy of india instead of exporting wheat outside let's say outside country or western countries we export wheat to our neighbors like bangladesh 50% of our produce is imported by bangladesh itself so of course population is huge demand is there and there is no production largely of wheat there because so let's say climatic and soil factors they are they are major concern there that's why yesterday western minister has been criticized 
why you stop the seven week during the Ukraine war time? Yes, yes. Now, what should be answer to this question? Just now we have understood the concept. Huh? Yes. Yes. Any other reason? FDS, high FDS equals depreciation is a decreasing the value of finance. Yes. So that may happen because of high imports only because other will result into appreciation largely or it will stop depreciation. High FDI will result into, we can say, more dollars coming into the country that will appreciate Increase the value. The of rupees, yes, it will appreciate the rupee. High exports will also appreciate the rupee. And public sector banks selling dollars in Indian market will increase demand of Indian currency. So uh, again, it will appreciate the rupee, value of rupee. So basically, depreciation will happen because of this only. So that's why answer should be B here. Okay. Any question? Okay, let us stop there. Okay.